Okay. So that was uh, something we we have strong believers in. You know, knowledge is empowering, and I think people empowered with information. There's, you know, the world's not black or white; it's gray, and, and there's not a right or wrong decision. Sure. There's the best decision. Right. So I think people empowered with all the information make the best decision. And so our goal, even though I've got a, you know, I know I jump up on the soapbox uh, about animal welfare, mm-hmm. is that I, you know, my goal is just to keep empowering the public. And Michael Weber's uh, film, The Conservation Game, just blew, you know, blew the lid open on all these people that our entire lives that I grew up, we all grew up watching yeah. on TV, that you know thought were these altruistic, good people, loved animals, and mm-hmm. were doing the right thing. Um, it was not the case that there was actually a dark side to how they were obtaining their animals yeah. and uh, where they were disposing of them and the message they were communicating to the public, which really had nothing to do with conservation. It had to do with ratings and money. Right. No, and it's so true. And it's it, it's unfortunate. You know, we find this out, you know, like, for example, some of the people that I would watch when I was kids and I'm finding this out now. You know, like, you know, the Steve Irwins and the Jack Hannas and, you know, people that I would watch all the time with my brother as kids and stuff, you know, we thinking we're being educated. But in reality, there's just so much that's going on behind doors uh, with the whole black market and the animal trade of what these people were one of the main key uh, corporates of of of, you know, the animal trade that was going on. And uh, I know you guys, you guys talk about it a lot in the in the conservation game, and how you guys were able to try to see if you could track some of these animals that were on the Tonight Show, and you know all these different types of late night shows, and it's it was it's very uh, concerning that this went on for so many years without no one ever knowing. Yeah, I think there's a lot of accountability that needs to be answered, and right now everybody seems to be sitting on the sidelines. Yeah, um, you know, not one person that we expose. Not one person we've exposed in the film, not one, has made a public statement. Hmm. None of the organizations that we exposed that they're associated with, not one, have uttered a word. Right. So while we'll let them sit on the sideline for a, a period of time, you know, at, at some point in time, they need to be held accountable and answer questions about, you know, Dave Salmani says that ABC and all of their people have their own set of criteria. Right. Then we want to hear from ABC, well, is, are you saying that your organization supports what Dave Salmani and Boone Smith and Jared Miller and all these people do with, with the animals and the way they present them and where they go. So, right. um, I, I, but we can't hold those people accountable yet because we don't know how, how they've been duped. We, right. You know, the people certainly uh, on the Tonight Show and all the other morning shows, Good Morning America, they were duped just like us. So they sure. can't be they can't be blamed because no, I understand. We, we all well, there's a smokescreen. Absolutely. Yeah. When they're telling you that they're from they're for conservation purposes and they come from blah, 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 that's, you know, you accredited, it. you know, you you you'll believe it. Well, you know, that goes back to, um, you, you know, we're we as human beings are tend to be err on the side of trust, mm-hmm. you know, especially in, in, in the past de- in the past decades, maybe maybe not in the 2000s. But right. Um, so it's, you know, you learn as you go. And um, so. My new focus has been, um, I, I don't assume anything. I want you to prove it to sure. me before I'll take that as fact. <laughs> <laughs>